watermelon man, people are getting 45 days, 90 days to shoot a film, blah, 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 blah. Man, they gave me 23 days to shoot the film, setting me up. So I shot it in 21. Mm -hmm. This was Columbia Picture? Mm-hmm. And you felt that they were setting you up to fail? What? You felt that but you, you were setting I mean, you up but, but The time it takes to make a film is, I mean, the, the, the normal shooting time was much longer. So if you make it, then they would have given me more time. But he said, well, he went 10 days over, 15 days over. Not that he had 25 less days than everybody else got in the first place. Huh? So I didn't say nothing. Mm. I said, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. What did you think of the script itself? What did you think of Watermelon Man? Well, it was called The Night the Sun Came Out on Sleepy Hollow Lane. And I remember the guy, the writer, came to me afterwards, all been sending notes saying I had betrayed his say. It didn't end like that. You see, the film ended with a guy, um, you know, one morning wakes up, one evening, one, after, one night, he goes to the John, he's, he's black. And then all these things happen to him. And then the, the original script, he goes to take another crap or whatever he's doing, and he's white again. That's the end of the movie. I said, uh-uh. I don't know. That ain't the way it's gone. Well, no, Mel, so we all had a talk, and we decided we'd shoot it both ways. And that's what we did. Except I only shot it my way. Huh, huh, huh. Hmm? What did you, what did you say to them when they said, well, where's ours? Oh, Lord, I must say, I done forgot. <laughs> what did you expect me to say? I didn't say, well, you racist dogs, do you think I'm going to fall for that? <laughs> <laughs>